Hi, I'm Steve with S Fitness. Where there is fire, there is water. Where there is cold, there is hot. And where there is good, there is evil. Now, all these things have one thing in common. And the fact, it's the fact that they are opposing forces. Now, we talked about insulin in the last video. And to briefly recap, insulin is used to absorb and then stop breaking down fats or using up energy and start storing or rebuilding. And so if, if the body does these things with insulin, shouldn't there be an opposing force? Shouldn't there be something to burn fat? And in my, uh, when, I did, when I asked myself that question and set out to look for the answer, I did find it. And the hormone or opposing force of insulin is called glucagon. Now, glucagon is secreted from the same location as insulin, and that's from the pancreas. Its main function, glucagon, is to maintain blood sugar stable, and if blood sugar dips or becomes low, its, its uh, function is to raise blood sugar. And the way it raises blood sugar is by um, fighting the good fight and breaking down fat, stimulating the liver and muscles to release glycogen. And of course, glycogen gets converted and becomes glucose. And glucose is the body's main source of energy. Okay, so let's look at it in a different way. Let's flip the story a little bit. We know that we need to use energy to prevent storage. So when we eat, we don't want to eat too much so that it, the excess becomes stored. We want to be able to eat just enough uh, to support our activity level, okay? We use the energy by moving. So um, as long as we're, we're moving and we're being active and we don't eat too much, we're basically using up the energy. Now, because we are now using all this energy that we are eating, and of course we're now eating, uh, hopefully, enough to support this energy, and not over the energy, okay? The body now has to ensure that the blood sugar is at its uh, sweet spot, okay? It has to be uh, ensuring that glucose is sufficient, okay? And that's where glucagon steps into the scene when you don't calculate uh, the right amount of food or you actually exercise more than um, the amount of food you ate. Glucagon steps in, breaking down fat so that um, it feeds your body, feeds your muscles. So now, examples of when glucagon does come out is during famine, but others are like sleeping, in between meals, exercise, like using muscles and, and things of that nature, running, you know, and of course, um, the intake of protein. Now, um, with the intake of protein, I'll cover that in another video. Now, <clears throat> hormones in general, if, you, if you're um, thinking about it, they're like switches, just like everyday life. I mean, we go into a, a room, and if it's dark, what do we do? We look for that switch. Switch it on, and the lights come on, okay? Um, we want to vacuum our rugs. We look for a switch to turn on that vacuum. And... We flip the switch and the vacuum turns on. Well, hormones are just like switches. Now granted, it's not as simple as flipping on a switch like on a vacuum cleaner. But if we think of it that way, if we think of hormones as switches, we actually can control them. Um, and that, the way we control them is through our eating habits and of course our exercise. Even if you was to do extra things like um, maybe walking upstairs or just moving more or, or parking your car a little bit further away from, uh, you know, the mall and making you walk a little further than, than finding that sweet parking spot right in front of the door. Those are considered exercises too. And those will help you uh, burn more energy um, and, of course, uh, reduce um, storage. So... We would like to um, uh, know that we can um, switch on more energy use. Um, and then, of course, you know, just like the hormones where insulin switches on when we eat too much and glucagon switches on 
when we don't have enough sugar in our, our blood sugar, we can actually control it through our diet and exercise. So um, hopefully this helps. I know when I was um, looking into uh, fat storage and and of course you know I wanted to get rid of some of the fat that I had. Um, I asked that question and I found that glucagon is the opposing force of insulin. And so knowing both insulin and glucon and how it works and how I can actually use them as switches enabled me to um, get a better understanding on the path or task I needed to take in order to make changes to my lifestyle uh, through diet and exercise so that I can accomplish what I set out to accomplish. So I hope that this video has helped you and um, maybe enlightened you about um, the hormones, these two key hormones that play a big role in storing fat and uh, burning fat. So let's go out there and let's make a better body. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.